Here are the horses for this afternoon's first race. An open test for Illinois bred Pacers. Number one, Unshakable Faith, owned by Mike Tagg of Champagne. Brent Holland in the bike. Two is Victor's Dynasty, owned by Mike Ross of Mendota with Andy Miller. Three, Sadie Sarnell, owned by Mary Alice and Tom Tietrick. Jeff Illinois with Tom Tietrick in the bike. Four, Can Cam, owned by Jerry and Helen Logan. Coffeeville, Kansas, Jerry Logan's up. And number five, Bye Bye Nuke, owned by Charles and Brent Plotner of Philo, driven by national driving champion Tony Morgan. First race, Pacers at the gate in only three minutes. Short post, three minutes. Now that field at the post, the gate is rolling. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Can Cam on the outside between horses. Victor's Dynasty is at field. Thunders into the first turn. On the inside, Unshakable Faith will get away third, now second. Racing next is Sadie Sarnell as they swing around the turn. Can Cam shuffle back. He'll drop in fourth. They're being led by Victor's Dynasty by a length and a half. Sadie Sarnell second. Racing third on the inside. Unshakable Faith on the outside. Here comes by, by Nuke. Following cover off the rail was fourth, now third. Sadie Sarnell powering up on the outside. She'll take command at the quarter. Shuffling back second, Victor's Dynasty as they reach that mark in 29 seconds. And Sadie Sarnell leads them down the back stretch, length and a half. Victor's Dynasty second, racing third as they head that way. And now back off the rail. Here comes Bye Bye Nuke. Caught her breath just a moment, back out and driving. And there she goes to the front for Tony Morgan. Bye Bye Nuke, racing past Pacers, takes command length, a length and a half, approaching the half mile mark. Sadie Sarnell now second and underdrive. Can Cam rolling up was fifth, then fourth, now third, now second. They're at the half. Half. They race past that mark and 58 1. They're in the final turn on the inside. Bye bye, Nuke on the outside. Right there, Can Cam, the new leader. Can Cam by a nose, by a neck. Bye bye, Nuke fights back on the inside. Sadie Sarnell is third. On the outside, Unshakable Faith is fourth and trailing but close up Victor's Dynasty as they're approaching the three quarter mile mark. Can Cam determined on the outside for Jerry Logan by a neck. On the inside, Bye Bye Nuke still under no pressure. Morgan has a firm hold of Bye Bye Nuke as they're past three quarters in 127 2. They're at the top of the lane. And now Bye Bye Nuke on the inside comes back to lead. Can Cam on the outside is there second. Sweeping way wide in the lane is Unshakable Faith. Sadie Sarnell is fourth. Five is Victor's dynasty all in contention paces in the lane coming from everywhere they drive to the wire here comes unshakable faith on the outside between them can cam inside bye bye neck to the wire unshakable faith wins it tight photo for second it appeared to be bye bye nuke second over can cam but that's the photo sadie sarnell and then victor's dynasty three lengths separated all those pacers and 155 three Trained by Derek weatherell who hails from Shumway, Illinois. Joined now by his family, Dean, Mrs. Weatherell, will be in the winner's circle. Winning pacer, a five-year-old gelded son of Anxious Robbie from the Walton Hanover matron, Ronelda Hanover. Winning pacer, driven today by Brent Holland, Derek Weatherell in the red and blue colors in the victory lane ceremony. Got interested in harness racing in Illinois, became involved in the 4-H program, the inaugural program down in Effingham County. Put a number of yearlings th through that program, then became a trainer, now is based in Champaign. So a graduate of the Illinois 4-H program, Derek Weatherell in victory lane with Mike Tagg's Unshakable Faith and driver Brent Holland.